All right, let's try that one more time. Life will change when you turn your I can't into I can. I thought that was a good place to start today. Life will change when you turn your I can't into I can. Now, why do I say that? All right. <laughs> you meet so many people. And we all know life is full of challenges. And a person runs into a situation where it's time for them to start something new. So what's the first thing that goes into their brain? Not, I can do this. They start finding, trying to find out reasons why they can't. And I can't do this. I can't talk on the telephone. I can't. Uh, say hello to a person when I'm out in the mall. I can't. I can't. I can't. So, life will change when you turn your I can't, I just made it plural, changed it, to I can. I thought this was a great background because it's saying your talent is God's gift to you. What you do with it is your gift back to God. So, my question is this morning, if you're not utilizing all the talents that God has given you, are you robbing God? Are you robbing your family? Are you robbing yourself of a better life? I believe you are. Okay, why do I say that? Age of 27, I stepped out of the United States Army. I had a wife, two kids, a dog, and $3,000. That was enough to get set up in a house. I had no idea as to where the road called life was going to take me. But I knew I did not want to take orders from man again. I knew I did not want to push a clock again. Now, I was blessed because during my military days, I had, I had helped someone and it came back to me. In the way of them helping me start my first business. Now, don't worry, it was a loan. Okay, so, uh, and it was paid back, all right. But my point is, at the age of 27, I had my first business. I knew nothing about marketing, I knew nothing about buying clothes, but I had a dream. And that's what brings me to this post right here because God has given us all talents. I learned how to market on the spot, on the run. Uh, I learned, you know, how to stock a store. What size is to buy, what size is not to buy. I learned what advertisement would bring people into my shop. I learned how to converse with a customer that came in to spend $100 and had been walking out spending $200. Your talent is God's gift to you. What you do with it is your gift back to God. So my question to you this morning is, uh, what are you doing with your talents? Because you have talents. And why do I say you have talents? Because number one, we're all born winners. There's no losers here. Okay? The loss is in your mind because your mind is telling you, I can't. I can't get on that telephone and talk to that person. I'm scared. I can't give that, girl, that guy uh, or that lady a sizzle card when I, I'm in Starbucks. Or I'm in the mall, okay? I can't go to a meetup and just exchange cards with other individuals that I don't even know because I'm scared. I have fear. I don't know what they're saying. I can't. Your talent is God's gift to you. What you do with it is your gift back to God. Think about this. When the day is coming, it's all over. And you've passed on to the other world. And people are standing at your graveyard and they're reading your, your stone there, right? That, that stone that they give you, right? They sit on top of you when you're gone, all right? Or your bones that are, that are left there. And it says, born such and such a day. Died such and such a day. John Jones. What's your legacy? What did you do? How many lives did you touch? Who did you help along the way? What are you going to be remembered for? 
Because remember, your talent is God's gift to you. What you do with it is your gift back to God. So I'm in this by saying this this morning. Stop robbing God. You're cheating him. Because you keep walking around saying, I can't. When in reality, you can. Because how do we overcome our fears? We challenge them. So what if you mess up on the first phone call? They don't know you. Hang up. <laughs> okay? So what if you stutter when you're handing the person that first card? So what? They don't know. If your website's on there, they might go to your website, hit your capture page, and you don't know. You might have a $100,000 a year producer. You can. So stop saying you can. Because your talent is God's gift to you. What you do with it is your gift back to God. So don't leave this universe. And not have given nothing back. Because you've been given plenty. I'm going to end it right there. Wishing everyone much success.